Hey folks, Jonathan here. Picked up some more machines, like I really needed more, but uh, couldn't pass the deal up. Got a Acer service grinder, and it looks like a manual. Got a 6x18 chuck, and it's a permanent magnet chuck. Uh, I've never had one before, so, you know, I'm pretty new to that. But uh, it was actually in operation at a factory, so it will work, and uh, I've just got to see if see if they, what they've got it hooked up on whether they got it hooked up on 460 or 230 and three phase so we'll get it uh we'll get it in the shop and get it hooked up that way we'll have it to use uh been a lot of places on these little steam engines and stuff where it would have been really nice to be able to use it and uh the other machine leblond and we're not sure what this is uh i don't think it's a regal it may even be a little newer than that uh got metric in you know ASE threads gotten you see I got oil everywhere this thing wasn't leaking until I went and drove so I'm assuming that maybe it splashed out or something I don't know but this thing has got one gear that's got some teeth problems uh, I've got all the parts for it uh, for the chuck and everything it's got a taper attachment and I think this is about a 15 by 60 maybe somewhere through there and let me see we got a cabinet with a lot of stones we got parts and stuff for our surface grinder that i'll have to figure all that out like i said i don't know we've got some other stuff we've got some wheels and, uh, carver doom i don't know something The company that had this, they bought a new surface grinder, but they bought a big one, so they're not gonna they're not gonna be using a uh, smaller unit like this. So everything they had went, and there's some more stones. Finisher, quite a bit. I'm not real up on surface grinders, but at all. If anybody knows what that lathe is, I, you know, I can't find a model number on it anywhere. I do have the serial number I could get off. And the parts I need to get back on. Now this had a nice quick change tool post on it that I've already put on my other lathe. And uh, let me show you what else. Okay. Got a whole box of stones and then we've got If I can get it open with one hand, we've got the diamond stone, and then we've got another diamond stone, and then like I said, a whole box of uh, odds and end stones and stuff there, and there's the teeth to check, and just a few odds and end parts, but uh, I got this stuff so cheap. I could actually take it to the junkyard and make money on it, even at the scrap prices of what they are. But of course, I'm not a scrapper, so I don't like to scrap stuff like this. But uh, anyway, I've seen this thing was made in Singapore and USA, so I guess it's got parts from both places. But maybe we'll get that. Uh, lathe figured out and see if the parts are worth buying for it if they're not worth buying i'll probably part it out make sure somebody gets some kind of a use out of it but uh you know this is newer of course than anything i've got and it is a servo shift a lot of people don't like uh i think you can change them over to a manual shift it's got a hydraulic shift system in it and uh it would be a pretty nice lathe running though i mean i'd love to have it together in the shop but we'll see what happens but we will definitely get this set up, so we'll have this to work with when we're we're doing them surfaces on the uh, on the steam engines where the slide valves go, and actually the bottom of the slide valves will be able to surface them. And you know, it's not so much the measurement of it as the surface of it, and that's the difference. You know, I'll be able to get a good surface, and you know, 
play with it and do whatever we need to do. Anyway, just wanted to show you. Like I said, I, I really don't have anything but a little bit of fuel money in this stuff, so. All right. Appreciate you watching, subscribing, commenting, and liking. And uh, until next time, bye.